Postseason training, the time where you bridge the gap between the last race of your season and the start of your next season, can create a lot of confusion. Today I want to share six things that you can do this postseason to make next season your best. Number one, plan some time off. Now off means off. The main thing about taking time off is not doing your primary sport. That could range between one to four weeks in length to recuperate, recover. Number two, during that time off, you'll have plenty of time to review your season. It's looking back at your training log, um, looking at things that worked, something that you might want to repeat for next year, also reflecting back on things that just didn't work and making sure you make the necessary re revisions as you start your plan for next season. Number three, after that review, you want to know your why for the post season. Postseason why is generally for recovery, doing some new activities that you don't normally do, like I already said, taking time off, doing some home projects, work projects, taking vacations where you don't take your swim bike and run gear, just doing other things that you don't normally do because you're spending a lot of your free time um, preparing for your event. And if you have a strong enough why and reason for why you're doing the things in the, the postseason, you're more likely to stay committed and to stick with it. Number five, after you take the time off, review your season, make sure you have a strong why for what you're going to do, it's time to start to add activity back into your fitness routine. Cross training, like if you haven't been doing strength training, revisit the mobility and stability phase. And instead of going running and biking, add some hiking into your routine. Hiking, especially if you live in a mountainous territory, can create a lot of strength endurance, and strength endurance precedes speed. So, it's, so when you are ready to start training, you're going to go into it that much stronger. Do a challenge. I've had a lot of post seasons where I like to set new challenges, whether it's strength, such as a push-up challenge, pull-up, squat, planks, you name it, I've probably done it. I've done programs like P90X and Insanity. I actually have fun with those types of programs. I think Insanity with Sean T is aerobics for athletes to keep you motivated, start a group, you know, maybe it's a social media group, maybe it's an in-person group. Well documented that having an accountability partner will help you reach your health and fitness goals. Now after you've kind of gotten back into some sort of fitness routine, then it's time to start to think about what you want to do with your primary sport. For triathlon, a great training plan to follow is a single sport plan. And Dave Erickson from Endurance Hour and I have put together four postseason single sport plans, one for the swim, one for the bike, and one for the run, as well as a multi-sport plan that are very comprehensive. They're 16 weeks long, and they definitely are my go-to type of plan to bridge the gap between the last race of the season and the start of the next season. I'd love to hear what you're looking forward to most post-season. Comment below, join the chatter in our T2 Endurance Group, and make it a great day.